Welcome to a new video. This is going to be a two-part video series and in these two videos we want to look at how temperature affects epoxy flooring and specifically when you apply epoxy floors how will the temperature affect the application because I can surely tell you that applying in the winter and applying in the summer you can get very different results and it's very very crucial that you understand the differences and that you are well prepared in advance so in this first video I'm looking at cold temperatures now before we go any further let's just say most epoxy flooring products should be applied between 10 and 30 degrees Celsius which is about 50 to 86 Fahrenheit ideally you want to be applying around 25 degrees Celsius that's my, my favorite temperature it's not too hot not too cold that those are the, the ideal conditions however we never have ideal conditions as anyone who is involved in epoxy flooring will tell you it's always messed up and the next subject I want to mention is keep in mind when we say application temperature we need we mean the room temperature the atmosphere temperature but we also mean the surface temperature because sometimes you can have a very cold slab it's actually happened to me and I'm gonna talk about it in a bit how even though we thought the room was quite warm the slab underneath was quite cold and that affected our results now number one the number one thing that we should look out for when we are applying epoxies in cold temperature is that the pot life or the time the the product requires to react is actually longer when you are applying in cold temperatures this means you actually have a bit more time to work with the product if a, if a normal product needs 30 minutes to start curing and start like the, the, it's, it's it starts to heat up and flashing in cold weather this can be extended which is a good thing obviously because you have more time to work with the product however sometimes it can be so cold that this will affect recoat times so in other words it's happened to me I apply the first coat one day I go back the next day to apply the second coat but it's been so cold overnight that the you can't even walk on the coating yet it's still quite sticky because the epoxy has not fully cured yet um, well, not, not, it's not cured yet to be walkable this has happened many times so keep in mind when you have really cold temperatures this will affect recoat windows and also the project completion so if you're gonna promise a project to a customer let them know it's gonna take much longer than you thought if it's winter time the second point you need to keep in mind is that humidity tends to be higher in the winter this is not a standard rule but in most cases what happens is you don't want in the winter you have like high humidity that affects your condensation here's an example of a floor I did where this is actually epoxy but it doesn't look that glossy after we finished it the reason was there was a lot of humidity in the room so the the content uh, so we actually had some condensation attack the floor so I mean the floor is still great and usable and walkable but it lost its gloss because of blushing this happens when the working temperature is close to the dew point as a rule you need to be working at at least four degrees Celsius above the dew point when you are applying epoxies so avoid really cold temperatures because usually you'll have when you're working at cold temperatures the the temperature of the of the atmosphere is near the dew point and you will get these types of condensation problems the third big problem with cold temperatures is leveling what happens here is because the thixotropy or the viscosity of the product the flow of the epoxy is not as good when it's cold it doesn't settle properly it doesn't level properly because of the cold temperature you ha you may end up getting these little I mean this was a self leveling floor and after we completed it you could still see these little marks trial marks like nail marks and this was caused because it was so cold that the product just couldn't flow and level properly or as I say here it didn't smoothen properly this was caused in very low temperatures so I showed you the three big problems we have with uh, cold temperatures what do we do how do we solve these problems my first tip is heat the room in advance so if this is a place where you have air conditioners or heating let the customer know please heat up the room heat it up so it's easy for us to work 
but I am going to emphasize this, do not use propane. In construction sites, we, all, we often see these heating heaters that, that are connected to propane tanks as a way of creating flames. I, I strongly advise, to, advise you to avoid propane, and the reason is I have had problems with propane propane fumes attacking the epoxy and kind of leaving funny looking blotches and discolorations on the epoxy so avoid using propane you you'd much rather go with some electrical sort of heating methods second tip is keep the goods stored in standard room temperatures so even if it's really cold outside you can still keep the goods stored in a warm place so when you are going to apply them the actual temperature of the goods is not that cold and that will definitely help with the curing, with the leveling. That's definitely going to help you. So keep the goods stored in standard room temperatures. Don't keep them stored in a cold place where it's going to be freezing overnight or even close to freezing. As I said, you should be aiming for at least 10 degrees Celsius or 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Although ideally I would recommend don't work under 15 degrees. You can also do something else to improve the mixture and that is you can add some solvent obviously you're going to add the solvent that's suitable for your product like xylene for epoxies and what you can do here is by adding solvent you improve the the flow of the product however it will slow down your curing even more just so you know that but it, at least it will solve your problem of the leveling and the smooth proper smoothing of the epoxy so that was my presentations. If you have any questions, please go ahead, leave a comment below, and I will try to get back to you within the next one or two days. I'm really looking forward to your questions. Remember, if you enjoyed this video, please share the video. Let other people know about it. It helps us get the word around, and it helps everyone learn more about our industry. Don't forget, subscribe to our channel, so every time we bring out a new video, you know when it's out. And finally, you can always visit our website to learn more about us. Our website on the top is for our products. Check out our products. We ship our products to most countries in the world. We are based in the European Union, in Greece. And underneath, you can visit learncodings.com. We've got our articles there. You can learn about our online training course there. Feel free to visit that website to educate yourself on epoxies. And of course, feel free to browse in our youtube videos we've got about we've got lots of videos up you can browse you can have a look so thank you very much for watching i hope to see you soon we will be bringing out a new video shortly with the how hot weather affects epoxies so stay posted for that